Hey y'all, what's going on? Natalie Higby here. And Christian Placencia. And we are super excited to have you join us for day two of our at-home bodyweight program. Today is going to be a lower body focus workout. Christian is going to take you through some more skill work today, all about deceleration and acceleration. But first, let's get going on the most important part, the warm-up. All right, so Christian's going to be moving through these movements. I might jump in as well, but I'll be sure to explain to you what's going on. The first one is an inchworm. So let's go ahead and take our hands down towards the ground. You can see Christian's just letting his spine round out here. And then he's going to walk his hands forward, and when we get to this high plank position, it's okay to let those hips drop a little bit. And then go ahead and walk those hands back towards your toes. Excellent job. Come up, stand nice and tall. Let's do that again. Let's round it on out. Walk those hands forward, find that plank position, and then drop the hips towards the ground. Keep breathing as you go through this warm-up. That was two reps right there. Let's go through a few more. Again, walk those hands forward, drop those hips. Beautiful job. Now you can keep your pace with Christian, or you can move at your own pace, whatever works best for you. We're going to get our body nice and warm to make sure that we are working at our optimal level today for our workout. Let's do one more inchworm. Walk those hands forward. Yes, drop those hips to the ground and stand on tall. Next up, we have a squat with a knee drive here. All right, so this is going to look like this. We'll squat, we'll come up, drive our knee forward, and then move back into our squat, drive the other knee forward. Keep moving, keep breathing. This is going to challenge your single leg balance a little bit. And I want to challenge you also to try to keep your eyes up and your chest up on your squat. There you go, good. Squat, drive that knee forward. Squat, drive that knee forward. Awesome job. Remember to keep breathing here. Good work. Let's get three more reps. Here we go. Squat, drive. Good work, good work. Shake that off. From here, we'll do some lateral lunges, okay? So go ahead and set your feet up nice and wide. What we're going to do is sink to one side. So let's come on down to the right side here, and then we'll come back up to the top and then sink our hip to the left side. Good, continue to move again. Move with Christian. Just wanna explain a couple things on this one. I want you to notice that his feet are flat on the floor. So his heels are pressing into the ground the whole time. Once again, he's working to keep his eyes up and his chest up. So you'll see his hands come out in front of him as he moves, always coming back to this tall position at the top. Beautiful work. Let's get a few more reps. Nicely done. Feeling good? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, yeah. okay. Let's hit the upper body a little bit. We have arm screws, okay? Let's take our hands out to the side. On this one, we're going to roll our shoulder forward, reach through our fingertips, and then bring it back to the center. We'll just alternate side to side. And again, keep following Christian. What I want you to notice is that his hands stay high and his hips are pushing side to side. Again, roll that shoulder forward, come back to the middle, roll the shoulder forward and back to the middle. Continue to breathe. Let's go two more reps on each side. You guys got this? Remember, it's important to get our joints prepped for the workout. Important to get that heart rate up just a little bit before we get going into the skill work. Excellent job. Once we finish those off, shake out your arms, shake out your legs. Coming up next, we have high planks. And we're gonna do a high plank with a high five. Okay, so if you have a partner, if you have your family member there, go ahead and grab them. We'll come down to the ground, set yourself up into a high plank position. All right, now, from here, we're gonna be working for 30 seconds. We're going to high five in the middle as we try to balance ourselves. Ready? Let's go. Breathe. Try to squeeze your belly. See if you can limit the amount of shifting that's happening in your body as you give your partner a high five. Good job. We're about halfway. Nice. Keep it up. Got 10 more seconds to go. We've got this last five, four, three, two, one. Nicely done, relax. All right, you can stand up tall. Next up, we have our high knees, okay? We'll be working for 30 seconds here. Going in, three, two, one. Let's 
go. I'm with you. We're moving our arms. We're light on our feet. Breathe. Again, bring those knees high. We got this. Who can go faster? Halfway, 15 seconds left. Good work, last 10. Let's finish it all the way through. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo, good job, okay. Next up, we have butt kicks, okay? Again, 30 seconds of work. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go, bringing our heels to our bottom here. Again, getting the arms involved. Let's stay tall. Let's breathe. Again, light on the toes. Nice and soft. Fast feet. 10 more seconds. Great job, guys. Keep it up. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Next up, Frankenstein kicks. So on this one, we're keeping our legs straight. We're reaching opposite hand to toe. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Once again, we're kind of working on the single leg balance. Can you stay tall? Can you keep this leg straight as you kick the leg up? Trying to reach it with that opposite hand. You'll notice we take a couple steps in between just to reset ourselves. Good job. Keep working. Coming up on our last 10 seconds. Final five, four, three, two, one. Good work. We're going back down to our high plank. We'll do that another round here, okay? Get yourself set up. Again, in our high plank position, we have our high fives here. We're going in three, two, one. Go, go. Again, 30 seconds on. Encourage your partner. Good job, Matt. Keep it good up, Good work, good work. We've Come got on. this. We got this, y'all. Keep going. We're right here with you. Halfway. 15 more seconds. Great job, everybody. Keep it up at home, y'all. Keep it up at home. Here we go. Last five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Oh, awesome work, guys. Catch your breath. Going into our high knees again. Okay, we're going in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Get fast feet. Are you warm yet? Oh yeah, I'm warm. Sweating already. Hopefully you guys are too. We got this. Great job, everybody. Keep it up, y'all. Have about 10 seconds left. Fast feet, fast feet. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Good job. Awesome. Butt kicks. Ready. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Awesome. <laughs> Here we go. A little burn in the quad, burning in the legs already. Let's keep it moving. Great job, Nat. Good job, guys. Keep it up at home, y'all. Job C. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Excellent work. Frankenstein kicks. Mm -hmm. This will be our last 30 for the warm-up. Ready? Three, two, one. Again, can you keep your balance as you're reaching for that opposite toe? Who can keep your leg a little higher? Yeah. Who can keep it straight? I think I'm more flexible, but you guys can be the judge. <laughs> I'm working on it. Great job, everybody. Keep it up, y'all. Keep your heart rate up and keep on breathing. We're almost there. Last five, four, Three, two, one, awesome job. and relax. Great job, guys. Excellent work. 
Thank you for joining. Christian's going to take over on the skill of the day for today, okay? Awesome. Awesome, guys. Okay, y'all. So, we're going to do our acceleration and deceleration work here today. Now, parents at home, if you're doing this workout with your kid, don't just think that this is a basketball drill. Believe it or not, when you go onto the basketball court or you're trying to do some practicing or some drills with your kids, the last thing we want is to get hurt when we're trying to help them get better. So it's great to start implementing these more dynamic and explosive drills because it helps your joints, it helps your muscles uh, get prescribed and get adjusted to how to do these movements. So try them out at home, okay? We only need a small amount of space, everybody, okay? I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna do one slow to break down the form, and then we'll do it together. We'll end up getting five times on each side, okay? So the first thing I have is I'm gonna take one to two at most hard steps, big steps, then try to sprint towards the corner of the room. Now, once I do that, you're gonna see that I'm gonna to come to a complete stop. Okay, let's try to pause our body with no earthquakes, okay? So I'm gonna start here, one, two, pause. And again, here, I'm gonna really emphasize this. My chest facing down so that my hip can face back. I don't wanna be here when I stop. I wanna be here so I can use my glutes, okay? I'm gonna have Natalie come back in the frame and she's gonna hit this workout and this skill with me, okay? I'll do one and then Natalie will do one. Again, we're gonna take one or two hard steps and then decelerate. One, two, decelerate with my right leg forward. Now Natalie will go here. Great job, Natalie. Perfect, look at that, I'm trying to pause. We're gonna go four more times on our right leg, okay? One, two, perfect. We'll start with that left leg forward, just like Natalie has it. Takes a couple hard steps and then pauses. Now you can see when you come to the pause, if you have a little shake, that's good. That means your body's trying to learn and get better at the drill, okay? Left leg forward, one, two, stop. Perfect, trying to stop by the time. You got it, Nat. Number three right here, guys, on the right foot. Yeah, great job, everybody. Two more times, okay? With the left foot in front of us. Nice, I like it. Feels good in the hips. Hopefully you guys are feeling that at home. Perfect, great job. One more time with our right leg. So left leg forward, stop on our right foot. Perfect, last time for Natalie here. You got it, Nat. Awesome, great job. Now we're gonna put our right foot forward and now our left leg is gonna stop when we decelerate, okay? In this position, one, two. Awesome, I can already feel the difference from foot to foot. So if you notice that one foot is better than the other or easier to decelerate, that's okay. Let's work and get fed. Right you forward. got it. Yep, right forward. Perfect, oh, nice. That that's great. awesome, great job, and that's okay. You're gonna see that one side's a little bit different. Woo, nice. I'm gonna top my shoe here real quick. You got it right here, Nat. All you, bro. Oops. Nice, awesome work, awesome work. Right foot, mm. nice deceleration. Here we go, Nat. Perfect, two more times, guys. Two more times right here. Woo it's challenging me. How do we make this more challenging? We're trying to get more explosive when we accelerate. It's really hard in a small space, but that's why we're here, to get better and challenge ourselves. Last time. Woo yeah, last one, Nat. Here we go, girl, you got it. Awesome work, great job, Matt, give me some. Guys, hopefully parents and kids at home, you guys felt that drill, okay? Now what we're gonna do is get into the workout, okay? Now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the timer on, not yet, for 12 minutes. We're gonna do three movements, back to back to back. When we finish those three movements, that's one round. Now, here's where the challenge comes in, guys. If we're rookies, at the rookie level, we're gonna try to finish five rounds in 12 minutes. If we are at the all-star level, we're gonna try to finish seven rounds in 12 minutes. And then, if you are at an MVP level, top notch, then you're gonna do nine rounds in 12 minutes. That's a lot, but don't worry. If you're not getting the MVP level, it's something that you can shoot and aspire for, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're all gonna move through this first round together. 
we're going to put our timer on. We're going to go through this first round. And then right when we finish up our first round, we're going to keep going. So there's not really a lot of rest. If you need rest, pause the video, pause your timer, and take a second to rest. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So the first thing we got, guys, is our squat to reverse lunge. I'm going to put my timer on. You stick with me. We got five reps on each side. Three, two, one. Let's squat. Up, right leg, reverse lunge. Come back forward. Squat, left leg, reverse lunge. That's one on each side. Squat, reverse lunge. Perfect. And then squat, reverse lunge. That's two on each side. We got three more. Squat, reverse. Squat, reverse. That's three. Two more. Squat, reverse. Squat. Reverse, that's four, one more, squat, reverse, great job, Matt, squat, and reverse, awesome guys, now the second thing that we have is going to be here on the ground, we're going to put our left leg in front of us, and our right leg behind us, we have our shin boxes, okay, push both your knees into the ground, and pop those hips up, that's one rep, can we I use come my back hands, now. of course, great question, Matt, you can use your hands to help you come up, okay? That'll be a little bit easier, but that's perfectly fine. Let's get our body used to it. This is two, three. Follow Nat if you need your hands, or if you don't need the hands, you can follow me. We'll go to the next side now. Great job, Nat. Again, popping the hips up. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, that's five, great job. Now let's stand on up. We got the last movement here, okay? Our lateral lunges. Nat's gonna show you the lateral lunge, and I'll do the cosap. That's a little bit more difficult, okay? So, lateral lunge, both of our feet stay flat the whole time. We did this in our warm up, okay? That's one on each side. This is two. This is two on each side. Now, if you wanna make this harder, check out my foot. Heel is down, toes are up. This is a little bit harder. I'll come back up. Again, I'm doing a little bit more difficult. Now he's got a little bit more of the easier one. They're both challenging though, okay? Awesome, two more times on each side. Four, four, and then five, and five. Guys, we're gonna keep on moving. Let's go back to the first movement. And now, if you got a partner at home, oh, yeah. and you got a ball, let's make this a little bit more challenging, okay? Squat, reverse lunge, squat, reverse lunge. I'm gonna pass the ball to Matt. Squat, reverse, squat, reverse. That's two. Squat, reverse, squat, reverse. That's three. Squat, reverse, squat, reverse. That's four. Ooh. Squat, reverse, squat, and reverse this is five, last pass. We'll put the ball on up just for now, okay? Or if you have the ball at home, you can just hold it if you guys like as well. Let's go back to the second movement. Pop on up, bring it on down. Two, hands, three, or no hands. That's up to you guys, okay? Four, one more time, five, awesome work. Use our hands to switch up our legs, one. Again, guys, we're always trying to have quick transitions from one movement or one side to the next so we can get more rounds in okay last one right there that was perfect mm -hmm. yeah our lateral lunges Nat is going to have both her feet flat Ooh. i'm going to go into the cosack a little bit harder one okay we'll go lateral 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 two lateral three lateral three lateral four Lateral four, lateral five, lateral five. Awesome work. And then we're just gonna put the ball down and we're gonna see how many reps we can go. Let's keep going. Hopefully you started your timer. We're going 12 minutes here, okay? Back to the first. Squat, reverse. Now we're gonna move a little bit quicker. Squat, reverse, but you get to work and move at your own pace, okay? Listen to your body, squat. Reverse, this is number four here, right? Squat, awesome, reverse, squat, 
reverse one more time. That's why it's great to have a partner to help keep you accountable. Mm -hmm. Great job. Then we go to the ground. Shin boxes, here we go. One, and you can see, I might move a little bit quicker than Natalie, but that's okay, right? Because everyone's gonna have their own pace. You're gonna get tired during certain times, and that's okay. So if you gotta slow yourself down, there's nothing wrong with that. We and I'm going to challenge myself to try to keep up. As long as I keep quality, then I'm gonna keep moving the same pace. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, and five. Perfect, then we go right back to the next round. Squat, reverse, that's one. Squat, reverse, that's two. Squat, reverse, squat, reverse, that's three. Squat, reverse, squat, reverse, that's four. Squat, reverse, great job guys, squat. Reverse, great job, awesome work y'all. Ooh, feel good so far, Nat? Mm -hmm. Those oh, legs yeah. are burning a little bit. Awesome work. Let's come up, come back down. Guys, we're almost done with the workout. Almost there, okay? Four. Ooh. Five. Five. I tried to cheat a rep there. That's why, again, <laughs> it's great to have accountability partner. One, two, three. Good job, y'all. Stay breathing, stay moving. Five. Awesome work. Awesome work here. We'll go lateral lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Quick transitions, guys. Squat, reverse, squat, reverse. Give me some of that. Squat, reverse, squat. One more time, Natalie. Here we go. Squat. I'm just trying to slow her down now. <laughs> She's starting to get a little bit better, a little bit quicker than me. But I gotta try to keep up. Whew. Squat, reverse. One last time here, squat. Reverse, squat, and reverse. Great job, guys. We'll go right to the ground. Awesome work here. We got five, one, two, three. Awesome work. Four, Five. Awesome work, guys. Next side here. We're almost there. We got about three minutes left right here, guys. One, two, three. Remember, when you need a break, take a break, guys. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Good job. Then we'll go to these lunges. One, two, three, four, five. And if you're moving quicker than us, perfect. We're just showing you an example, okay? You don't have to move at our pace. You can move as quickly as you want, okay? Squat, lunge, squat, lunge, squat, lunge, squat. Keep it up, y'all. Lunge, you got it. Squat, lunge. Great job, y'all. Squat, lunge. Almost there. Two more. Squat, reverse, squat, reverse. One more time, y'all. Squat, reverse. Last one here. Squat and reverse. Perfect, y'all. We'll make our way to the ground. Almost there, everybody. We got five here. That's the good part. We try to take the thinking out of it, and we really have five reps of everything here today. One more. Awesome work. Great job, y'all. Two, three, four, five. Great job, everybody. Almost done. Great job, now give me some, bro. You guys got to keep on working, okay? One, two, three, four, five. You can see our chest is staying tall, right? So we can help pump our legs. Ten. Guys, we got time for one more round. Here we go. Last one. Squat. Reverse. Squat. Keep working. Reverse. Squat. Like Christian Reverse. said, keep yourself, keep your partner accountable. Cheer him on. Or try to throw them off. <laughs> squat. Reverse. Squat. Reverse. Almost there, guys. Squat. Reverse. My leg's burning. Squat. Woo! And reverse. Great job. I think that was five right there. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Whew. We got time, guys. We got 25 seconds. Here we go. I'm going to try to get through one more full round. I'm going to try to finish this round. One, two. I'm going a little bit quicker. Three. Four, 
five. I'm gonna go quick transition. We got it now. You gotta grow one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect timing, right on the dot. Great job, Matt. Awesome work, everybody at home. That was a day two workout. Now, Natalie's gonna take you through some stretching and some decompression. Make sure we follow her along because we don't want to wake up too sore tomorrow, right? No, we want to stretch out these legs a little bit. So, before we even do a stretch, just take a moment. If you need some water, grab some water. Slow down your breath a little bit. One more breath. And let's make our way to the ground, okay? Let's come on down to the ground. And what I want you to do is lay on your back. We are going to keep our right foot on the floor here as we bring our left leg up, cross that left ankle over the right knee, grab behind the right leg here, grab your right hamstring as you pull your legs towards your chest. Let's take three inhales, three exhales. <sighs> Trying to make these breaths super slow. <sighs> Try to keep your back on the ground. One more breath here. Awesome job. We'll go left foot on the ground. Right leg up, right ankle on top of that left knee. Grab behind the left leg. Now try to keep that back flat as you pull your legs towards your chest on these three inhales, three exhales. Feel all the way up on the inhale. Let it all out on the exhale. One more breath. Awesome job. Last one here. We are going to stand up tall. We are going to grab one foot. So if you need to hold on to something, hold on to something, or you can challenge your balance. Either way is okay. We'll grab for our foot here as our heel comes to our bottom. I'll turn it to the side. Let's try to drive our knee down towards the ground and squeeze our hips forward or squeeze our glutes. Take three inhales, three exhales. That's one. Two, can you keep your balance? Three, awesome, that nice stretch on the front side of the quad here. All right, last three breaths, last stretch. Whoops. Yes, we'll get tall. Drive that knee down towards the ground. Inhale, exhale, two more. Last one. Excellent job. I know my legs are feeling it a little bit, so shake out your legs, shake out your arms. Good work, you guys. High five your partners. We are so happy that you guys made it through this workout with us today. We wanna leave you with this, our journal prompt for the day. Today's journal prompt is what makes a good coach. So I want you to think about that. If you have a journal, I want you to write it down. If you don't write it down, I want you to at least think about it and maybe share it with a family member or share that with a friend. Again, what makes a good coach? Last but not least, just a reminder to check out the book of the month called Mind Gym. Okay, that's gonna be your guide for inner excellence on the court and off the court how to master your mind. Excellent job, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.